Hello good people, welcome to Iron Horse Weekly. So we've got a thousand subscribers, finally past that one thousand subscriber mark this week. So thank you each and every single one of you for doing your part to bringing my channel up to the, the real boy realms of, of validation. Thank you very much. This week we're looking at some bits and pieces I've done for Folks like self commission pieces, whether in wagons, coaches and locomotives. We're also going to take a look at some updates to the layout and a bit of a running session as well. And I discuss my innermost fears when it comes to weathering. Oh wonder, watch out for the transforming beard and hair. Morning folks, welcome to our Horse Weekly. Uh, I'm just doing some commission work for subscribers and fans of the Facebook page. This piece in particular is for Andrew and it's a Backman Mark II BSO. Brake second open. I think that stands for, is it? So all I'm doing today is just tidying up the loose ends as it were on this piece and then I'm going to start on class 68 and a class 59 from Dapple so they should be really interesting to weather. But before we get on with that let's see what else I've been up to. So you probably noticed I've lost some hair and changed my clothes since about 30 seconds ago. And that's because this video has been filmed over a few different days, which is what usually happens with my videos. Of course, now you can tell the difference where I've been groomed and had my weekly scraping. Anyway, moving swiftly on. We're back on the weathering bench and we've got this lovely class 59 from Dapol, which I'm going to be weathering for one of our subscribers uh, by the name of... Dion. He's sent me two low cost of weather, the first being this 59, which we're going to start with today. Now, I've had a look at plenty of reference photos, and he wanted it, and I'm, I'm quoting him directly here, make it look like it's been weathered. But let's have a quick blast at this, shall we?
There we go, bit of a weathering special this week hasn't it been really? I'm sure you've enjoyed it though, all the same. Commission work really helps keep the channel going for me and it's something that I really genuinely do enjoy doing and spending my time with a, a project like a locomotive or a wagon or a coach and turning it into something that's a bit more dirty than fresh out of the box, clean plastic. I know that people have their own style when it comes to weathering. I certainly have my own ways and means and things. And it's important to recognise that there are different ways of doing it. And of course, different methods and techniques have different end results. Some further just that flat airbrush look and that's absolutely fine. Some like a more dirty powder look like I do. Others like to use oil paints. And they all have their own place and they all do work really, really well. So if you like what you're seeing and you would like me to do a commission work for you, please get in touch. You can get in touch with me on ironhorserailways at gmail.com or you can check it out on the Facebook page as well. When, when you're sat and someone gives you their £200 model and they say to you, weather it for me, there's, there's always a little voice at the back of your head that goes, you're going to ruin this. Am I? Am I really going to ruin it? Yes, you are. But I've, I've done this loads of times before. It doesn't matter. So yeah, you've always got that internal battle going on. That doubt as to whether or not you can do it. But the results speak for themselves and people tend to be happy with what I make. So yeah, there we are. If you fancy it, give me a shout.
Right then, I think we've just about got time to go through a little bit of the Motorola news which has taken my interest this week. Hornby's TXS range keeps, seems to be going from strength to strength. They've just announced that they've released the Class 50 sound profile for the diesel locomotive section. Which is good because it means we can see them growing and adding to that repertoire. Sadly, there's still no sign of the Android version. Android, as we all know, is multiple platforms under one umbrella. So it's going to take a little bit longer, I think. Some people have reported that their decoders have been blowing up. I think it's down to the fact that they're using quite old DC systems. I think Home with themselves recommend using their own little system if you're going to run DC rather than DCC. Certainly going forward, I assume they're going to fix it. Probably will do, knowing Hornby. Next up, Hattons have announced that they're redoing their P-Class. They've announced another run of them. Now when they first came out I believe they were 99 quid and as you can see here they have a lot cheaper than that. I think when you look at the fact that that tooling is less than five years old something like that. They're re-releasing them it's less than it was the first time around and it's still modern tooling and it's under 90 quid for a brand new locomotive whereas a similar product from other manufacturers cost twice or sometimes even near enough three times that much. So you have to wonder who's pulling whose pants down a little bit there, don't you? Circling back around to the Hornby TXS decoders, DCC Concepts have just recently released a little bit of a how-to, as it were, on how to activate the ABC shuttle with them. So if that's your sort of thing, back and forth, back and forth, control section, then you need to give that a check out as well. You can check out their website for more details if that's your thing. Rails of Sheffield have received the KR Models Palbrick B wagons as well as the Jenny Kirk Special Commission wagons too. I've ordered three of them and they've still not arrived. I assume they're going to dispatch them in order of those who ordered first to last. So I, I reckon I'm about halfway down that list. So I hope mine arrives soon because I'm getting quite jealous seeing people playing with their toys and my toys remain unplayed with. So that's everything I can think of this week guys. I'm sure there's more that I've missed out but you know go with me so hopefully you've enjoyed everything you've seen this week and i will see you all very soon don't forget to like and subscribe if you've not already done so we are now over a thousand so now we have to get to two thousand so until next week cheers guys and i'll see you soon bye bye